Hey there, this is Akrich. This video is going to be a walkthrough of DC6 Solar Box, and without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's first find out the IP address of DC6 Volna box using net discover tool sudo net discover hyphen r and IP address of this Kali box because that DC6 Volna box also in the same network if config this is the IP address of this Kali box fished slash 24 which is net mask so here what netdiscover tool does is it will recursively send the ARP request to all the IP address present in this network and whichever the machine respond to that ARP request then it can confirm that this particular IP address active in this network. So what is ARP request? ARP request is a address resolution protocol which is used to find out the MAC address of the machine. So because this DC6 machine also present in the same network, so that machine will respond to ARP request so that we can find out the IP address of DC6 Volna box. So this is the IP address of DC6 Volna box. You can cross verify it using this MAC address. So let's use nmap tool to find out what are the open port present in this box. So sudo nmap hyphen sc to run the vulnerability scanning script hyphen sv to find out the version information of the service hyphen o to find out the os information hyphen p hyphen to scan all the port and ip address of dc6 volna box which is 192.168.29.2 so looking at the nmap result there are two port open one is port 22 which is SSH service and another one is port 80 which is HTTP service and this is Linux machine so let's first visit this HTTP service so copy this is the IP address port number 18 okay so what's happening here is whenever I try to visit the HTTP server hosted in the DC6 machine it will redirect to wordy domain so browser will make the DNS request to find out the IP address of this wordy domain but DNS server couldn't find out the IP address of wordy domain that's why we are getting this error so what we can do is we can make an entry in the host file such that we will direct the wordy domain to dc6 box IP address so before making the DNS request this browser will get the IP address of wordy domain in host file itself so Let's copy this domain name. So let's go to slash etc host file host. So here make an entry for this wordy domain. Uh, IP address is first IP address. This is the IP address, right? save it okay so writing in this file needs a root permission so let's don't save it sudo okay word yes yeah now we can view the web page hosted in this http service so so this is wordpress website you can also confirm by from this applizer tool and the version is 5.1.1 they also provided what is the language they have used to build this website and what is the database they are using so these are very useful information to know right
So let's run the WP scan tool to enumerate this website. So clear this WP scan URL is this enumerate. So this is fine. So here you can double confirm the version of WordPress. So let's search in the search Floyd. Let's Floyd WordPress 5.1.1. Nothing interesting. Twenty seven. So these are the user present in this WordPress website. So we can definitely brute force the password of this user using rockyou.txt, right? So WP scan URL and the username is let's specify this username admin place hyphen P to specify the word list. So I will specify rockyou.txt which is present in the desktop. No. So this is the Wellnub website where you can download the Wellnub box. So if you look at here, author gave some clue to use a password present in the rockyou.txt which has the substring k01 so let's use this password instead of using this because it will take lot of time so let's control c so cat so rockyou.txt present in desktop graph k01 right Yes. Password.txt. Now use password.txt. So we successfully cracked the password of Mark user and now we can log into WordPress website using this credential and also definitely we can try this credential on SSH service because people tend to reuse the password, right? So let's try that. SSH username is Mark. At the IP address. Yes, and the password is this, right? Let's go up with this. This. No, it didn't work. Okay, that's fine. Let's log into WordPress website using this credential. So let's close this. So login page is in WP login dot PHP. If you don't know, you can definitely brute force directly and you can get the login page. This is the default login path for the WordPress. So let's type the username and the password is this log. Don't say. Yeah. We successfully logged into WordPress website as a Mark user. 
this is the post what is this hi this is coming to get started can you can come and please visit the com so okay fine okay these are the user present in this wordpress website and you can also see the role okay no tools so activity monitor is a plugin which is installed in this wordpress website so what it does is it will capture all the click event done by the user so if you look at here these are the click event done by the mark user and if you go down these are the event done by the guest user but if you remember we tried to brute force the password of those five user using wp scan so those are the event being captured by this activity monitor plugin so when you get to know some of the plugins are installed in the wordpress website then the first thing you do you will check is there any vulnerability present for this plugin there is a serious vulnerability present in this activity monitor plugin so if you look in the search floyd so search floyd search floyd activity monitor see it will allow the remote code execution so these two are the same let's copy this html file so now let's open this html file 4527 So here you can read about the exploit. So there is a description, and if you go down, so here this need to be changed to our website, or uh, which is Wordy website. Let's change it to Wordy website. Port number is eighty. word d and this is the command which is responsible for to get the shell so what it does is it will set up the listener in the dc6 machine and so that we can connect to that machine but i will modify this little bit so that we will set up the listener in the kali box and dc6 machine will connect to the kali box and give the reverse shell so remove this so we'll specify the ip address of kali box config port number let it be 49 and that's fine let's save this so present working directory so let's open this html file in the browser so file slash slash home kali yeah so before hitting this button we need to set up the listener in the kali box so let's set up the listener clear this out the hyphen l v f the port number is 49 and hit this button yeah so we got a reversal if i say id so i am ww data so we successfully got our initial access to the dc6 machine right so let's upgrade this shell using this command and let's change the terminal color this white is so confusing 
using this command and let's clear this out let's set the term environment yes so let's first transfer the linpis.sh to this dc6 machine linpis is a bash script which will look for possible privilege escalation vector so which is present in this kali box desktop clear s minus linpis dot sh yeah this is the one we want to transfer to dc6 machine so let's host a simple http server using python python 3 yeah so present working directory is still appeared mean let's Go to temp directory and clear this and duplicate and IP address of the Kali box is config. So this is the IP address of Kali box 443 in page dot and make it as executable and clear this so let's run the linpis so let it run we can do the manual enumeration so i will connect to this something yes so let's first find out who are the users present in this box. Let's hop over to home directory. Ls minus al. So these are the four users present in this box. So let's hop over to Graham directory because this directory is readable to everyone. So let's go to Graham directory. Ls minus al. Okay, nothing interesting. We can check this bash history what are the command this graham user typed but this is not readable to everyone so other than that nothing interesting so let's go back so let's go to this chance directory okay there is a backups.sh and which is readable to everyone right so let's get that okay okay creating the backup zip file of the html directory okay that's fine let's go back to mark directory cd mark so ls minus al so there is a stub directory let's clear this first stuff ls minus al things to do let's get this txt file because this is readable to everyone yeah there is still full functionality for the hyperdrive need to speak to chance by present for Sarah's favorite party add a new user graham this is done i think this is the password for graham user let's copy this so ssh graham add this let's use that password yeah we successfully logged in as graham user uh, let's check sudo hyphen l because we have the graham user password let's check whether this graham user can run any command with sudo access yeah he can run this file as a gen user so let's check id so this graham user also present in devs group so why is this important i will tell you why is this important slash home so let's hop over to gens home directory gens ls-al 
this backups.sh is writable to Jan user and also devs group because this Graham user present in devs group so he can modify the code present in this .sh file so let's open this .sh file let's append the command slash bin slash bash save this so let me clear this so again i will run swipe an l so when we run the backups.sh file as a jans user what will happen because we appended the slash bin slash bash command at the end of the file it should give us the bash command access with a jans user privilege right so let's run this sudo hyphen u jans this file yeah so we got a jans user access so let's type sudo hyphen l to check is there any command this gens user can execute with a sudo access so gens user can execute this nmap command as a root user right so there is a one website called gtfo bins this is the website so gtfo bins is a website where we can find the possible way to escalate the privilege so because gens user can run the nmap command with a sudo access so if i type here nmap so sudo access so this is the two way you can escalate the privilege so let's try first one copy this paste it here hit enter copy this if i say id yeah i am root user so we successfully found this box to root user and i hope you gain some knowledge from this video and that is it for this video until then stay tuned like the video and subscribe the channel thank you